Here's my face before and here it is after. Can you tell a difference between my left side and my right side? Because I've used two different types of color correctors on my face. On one side, I've used an orange corrector and on the other side, I've used a deeper shade of concealer. And they both do the same job and it blows my mind that you can color correct using a deeper shade of concealer. I can't wait to show you how, so without further delay, let's begin. For skin prep, I'm going to be using the Milani Rose Primer. This is a prep and hydrating primer. This will help to soften the look of fine lines and pores and it creates an ideal base for smooth foundation or concealer application. This has a lightweight formula and I'm going to apply a generous amount all over my face. If you observe carefully, the right side of my face, which is your left side, has less pigmentation and dark circles as compared to my left side. To demonstrate today's technique and to really show you how this works, I'm going to be using the deeper shade of concealer on my left side where the pigmentation is more. And on my right side, I'm just going to start with a regular orange corrector, which is used for color correction. I'm using the e.l.f. orange crayon and I'm going to be using this in areas where I have hyperpigmentation, dark circles, dark spots and any kind of discoloration on my face. Orange and peach correctors combine with the blue undertones of your hyperpigmentation and neutralize them. And on my left side, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Medium Dark 125N. While choosing a concealer to color correct, choose a shade that's approximately two shades deeper than your skin tone. You can use even deeper shades of concealers to color correct, but the problem comes when you try to blend. It sometimes mixes with other products that you apply over it, giving you a deeper tint. I'm going to blend both sides out with a concealer brush. I'm going to use two different brushes for each side because I don't want to combine the orange corrector with the concealer. You can also use your finger to blend out. Now you may question why are we even color correcting? Now let's say you have hyperpigmentation on your skin and you try to apply a foundation or concealer directly over it. What it does is it combines with the blue undertones of your hyperpigmentation and start looking ashy. But when you color correct first, it's going to neutralize everything and then you can apply anything else over it and it's not going to look ashy. Now because the foundation is going to be my skin tone, I don't want it to combine with these colors and give me that orange or deeper shade of tint. So I'm going to lightly set this with a translucent powder so it sets and doesn't mix with the foundation or the concealer that I'm going to be applying over this. But make sure to use very less powder just so it doesn't cake up. The one that I'm using today is from Bare Minerals. I'm going to link all of the products that I'm using in the description box right below this video. Now you see the real magic when I apply a foundation or concealer over this. I'm going to start with a foundation and the one that I'm using is Super Stay by Maybelline and I'm in the shade Golden Door. I'm going to dot it all over my face and blend it out with a damp sponge. Now because I want to show you this technique, I'm going to skip using it on my neck but usually when I do a full face of makeup, I bring it down to my neck to match it with my face color. And when I have a color corrector underneath, I like to blend my foundation with a damp sponge as opposed to a brush. Because with a sponge, you're pressing the product in, so the chances of it mixing with a color corrector is less. But when you use a brush, sometimes the brush bristles can pull the product from inside and mix it with the foundation and give you that orange or deeper shade of brown tint over your foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Amber. I'm only going to be using a tad bit in areas where I need that extra coverage, especially around my eyes and mouth. And to blend it out, I'm using the same sponge that I use for the foundation. I like to use the same sponge for different products because there's going to be residue left in the sponge that's going to combine with the new product that you apply and give you a seamless blend. If you use a new sponge for every product you apply, you've got to put in that extra effort into blending it seamlessly. But here the sponge is going to take care of that for you. 
Before this concealer starts to crease, I'm going to lightly set it with the Bare Minerals powder. With the same sponge, I'm going to press it under my eyes. You can see how beautifully it smooths out everything. The purpose of a powder is to blur everything out by mattifying it. You can see that hollow in my right eye has disappeared as compared to my left eye. Now let's go ahead and set the left eye as well. And then I'm also going to set around my mouth where we use the concealer before I use a larger powder brush to lightly dust it all over my face to set it. You can see how flawless that coverage is, although we use two different types of color correctors on both sides. Nothing looks ashy and it has neutralized everything and it looks absolutely beautiful. Now because I'm going to be stepping out, I'm going to finish this up with some light makeup, starting with my brows. Starting with the NYX Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I like to brush my brow hair downward so I can clearly see on top and fill that in and I use the spoolie in the back again to brush my brow hair upwards and fill in the bottom part of my brows. If you are looking for a dupe of my favorite brow pencil which is precisely my brow from Benefit, this is the closest drugstore dupe. It has that fine micro tip so it's very easy to draw those natural hair like strokes. I'm going to clean up underneath with the L'Oreal concealer before I set it with a powder just so it doesn't crease. Now I have a lot of discoloration on my lid as well and it's going to look a bit ashy but I'm okay with it because usually I end up applying eyeshadows over the concealer so it's going to conceal everything. So I usually don't color correct on my lids because I don't want to apply too many products and make it look cakey. Today I'm not going to be using any eyeshadows. I'm going to keep it really light and nice. I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara and I'm using my current drugstore favorite which is the Bayside Cheerleading Mascara. This is by Wet n Wild and I posted a video about this on my shorts channel. Do check it out. It's a pretty good mascara. I'm going to link that video down below in the description box. And on my lips, I'm just going to be using a lip liner by L'Oreal in pink. This has the right amount of color to enhance your natural lip color and that's why I absolutely love it. You can't even tell that you have something on the lips. It's your lips but a better version of your lips. And here's the finished look. Please ignore that mascara that I smudged on my left lid. There's a video coming up on that as well. But coming back to color correction, you can see whether you use an orange corrector or a peach corrector or a deeper shade of concealer, they all do the work for you. Let me show you a close up and this is how it looks. So if you do not have access to orange correctors or peach correctors, you can most definitely use a deeper shade of concealer to color correct. I'm going to step out and show you how it looks in natural light. In fact, it looks even better and even flawless. If I did not tell you which side I used what, would you be able to guess? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something new. I like to add value in your life with every video I post. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and do check out the description box for all the products as well as my social media links. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.